Welcome, everybody. Welcome, Hi. dear practitioners, <laughs> to our monthly practitioner clearing meeting. Today, we will have a very important topic, which is inner peace. And we are presenting here today, Alexandra Dobiditz. Am I Hi. saying it right? <laughs> yes, it's right. Yes. <laughs> Alexandra is an SRT teacher and a certified energy healer. That's right. So welcome, Alexandra. Thank you. All right, so I'll mm -hmm. tell you I'm going to start. Okay. Yes. So with the guidance of spirit of high self, um, we will introduce this very interesting subject. Um, but first things first, Alexandra, please tell us a little about yourself. When and when did you learn SRT? Okay. So mm -hmm. I was born and raised in France, and then I came to America around the age of 19. And then eventually I find SRT or SRT find me or whatever you want to put it, right? And that was in 2011. And uh, so it's been, you know, over a little 10 years now. And, uh, you know, it's been a very trans transformational moment. Uh, mm -hmm. And it continue being that it hasn't stopped. So, yes. <laughs> Great. And uh, how it has been your experience, your experience as a teacher? Um, to really uh, teach people to take the brain out because we just have so much thinking going on. <laughs> and, and it really allows spirit in, you know, because mm -hmm. it's really spirit doing all the work and you're just a shell. And the more you think you know, well, that's ego. You know nothing. Allow spirit to tell you through the channeling, through the energy, and then miracles happen. Because honestly, there's no burden or responsibility on the human shell. It's all in soul energy connection. So we have to really, really trust in spirit and really surrender to spirit. And then amazing thing happen and sometimes we don't even know what's going on and we just say clear 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 and then we're like oh my god this is amazing because we surrendered and we stopped thinking we know what thing or what thing right it's like no we're a multi-dimensional being we're 14 40 billion years old like we can't even count we may be infinite beings we don't even have a number right so mm -hmm. there's so much thing that we don't know about us and this is a great tool right for us to find a way to connect and uh and you know the charts that robert created uh we're going to use today to facilitate uh, what we call a clearing which is shifting healing energy which is allowing you to change perception look at things differently uh you know have insight open door opportunities however it shows up for you yes one one of the first things that comes to mind is what is the difference between peace and inner peace? Oh yeah. Can you tell us a little about this? <laughs> <laughs> Such a good question. Well, peace is something outside of yourself that you can't really control, right? Mm -hmm. But inner peace, it's your shield, right? Nothing comes in. You know, so that's your power, your little Buddha energy, right? It's like chaos can be happening around but you're fine you trust you connected you feel good you have insights and you know you surrender that you don't need to know everything right now but you know that somehow things are gonna present itself right and we'll continue to believe continue to connect continue to clear and then poof magically everything happened right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so that's why i wanted to bring an inner peace because with what's going on right now, we could all use some centering, some feeling strong inside. So whatever entourage situation we're dealing with, whatever influences and comments and negativity mm -hmm. there that can be very triggering to us. If you're sensitive, you can feel people's energy, you can read what they're going through, all this, well, you know, we wanna help you facilitate to stay in that inner peace and be more the observer versus the absorber. Mm -hmm. Very important differentiation here. For many, for many people, inner peace is a synonym is a synonym sometimes to happiness, of happiness. 
So it's definitely something we would all love to reach, but sometimes you encounter, you know, very challenging issues in life that threaten inner peace um, to a level that sometimes people wonder if it's really reachable. That's right. Um, we are so immersed in materialistic issues or duties or emotional instability, so that we may feel overwhelmed. So in your experience, how have you dealt with this? Clearing, that's my answer for everything. <laughs> you know, this is like, uh, you know, we're gonna just use what was given to us, right? And that's the answer for everything. For me at this point, that's the best I, I have. That's the best I can do, right? This is the service I can render. It's clearing, right? So at this point, until further notice, until better coming along technology of how to heal someone and, and shift, this is gonna be it. And it's always gonna look like it's unbelievable because it's like in the air, it's energy. And we are energy, but this human body is containing my energy. So you see me, but if I come out of this body, you don't see me anymore. It doesn't mean I don't exist anymore, right? All this is, you know, a big, a big part of us feeling things you know in and out of the body even einstein said something like zero zero point eight percent of our soul energy actually operate in this human energy and we know in srt explaining chapter three and everything that we are way beyond this human body right so there's so much that triggers us that's outside of our knowing and so that's why it's a great tool because we're going to be able to bypass all the things that we don't know and get to the root of things without necessarily having to understand or believe in it, it's still gonna work. And that's why I love this work because people come skeptical all the time and they come back and they're like blown away and they believe it. So I have yet one person that hasn't turned around and say, oh, wow, it doesn't work. It's always working because spirit does the work and it's healing energy and we are energy and that's all we are. We are love, we're light. And that's what we bring it all together into that oneness, you know? So that's mm -hmm. why my skin is clearing. <laughs> Have you encountered any pattern in people about resistance to inner peace? Yeah, and that would be clearing. So everything that you're going to ask is going to end up back into let's clear. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So anything that you're going to ask is going to end up being a block or an energy glitch or something not coming through as a flow so let's address the problem right because if we keep talking about the problem it doesn't help right so let's get started yeah yes awesome. please awesome awesome perfect so i'm just going to call upon all the souls that can benefit from today's um video and also this is recorded so you can play it again right maybe there's not a layer for you that can come and be clear what you can find later on this video. So I want to be calling upon that soul energy, knowing that we all have contract. There's no, uh, you know, victim. We're not going against the free will. We can only do what your soul is allowing us. And that understanding, you know, we're providing only light and love inside connection to spirit. We're asking you soul to come and join us today into the sacred space. And we want to be prepped to work in zero time here in connection to spirit to be one. Team, wonderful, clear, all bodies, all minds, all layers, all levels, and clear addition for us, and three generations, and souls, and multiple souls. Anything in the way of you and your connection to spirit, clear channel, understanding, to be downloaded of everything that you need to know now to help you stay centered, to find the peace within yourself, to find the light, to feel good. Very nice. And we're calling upon your committee, your high self committee, all your team, all the beings working with you to be rededicated to this high love, this new beginning of finding this inner peace. Wonderful. Anything else, spirit? No? Okay, we're going to ask for all of us to be shielded and triple shielded so we are feeling safe during this healing session to receive all the healing possibly and imaginably here today. Everything and anything to be clear. Thank you, Spirit. Here we go. And then now we're getting a go ahead to start. All right. So 
if it's not already done, you know, sit back, lay back, close your eyes to tune in. It helps because sometimes the ego gets in the way of our looking at ourselves in the mirror in the video. So we just get caught up in how we look. So we want to, you know, kind of release that and maybe, you know, sit back, you know, make yourself comfortable, close your eyes. And then I'm going to ask Spirit here to show us what can we clear to help you in every way possible so you can begin or really feel this inner peace, right? And so the first thing we're going to do is go to 8B and we're going to clear any block to love of self. So we really want to reinforce this energy, download this energy of self-love to really feel that confidence, that good energy, everything is fine. I love myself. And then we can love the world when we love ourselves. And then all of a sudden, we're finding this little peace within ourselves. And then we're going to bring the wisdom, right? Because we really need to tune into our wisdom. We know better. Like we, we get caught up. We get in the trigger. And we know better. We need to get out of the trigger. Anything else? All right. We're going to go into the spiritual child. And it's part of us that feels maybe rejected or damaged. So we want to address this, this part of us that feels sometimes sensitive or fragile i want to give a big hug in here we really want to bring that energy of feeling safe or feeling good so we can begin to feel the peace so we're going to go back to chart one and we're going to ask where do we go to clear this little inner child that's asking for love some reassurance like a big hug of energy and we go all the way back before any creation before anything is begun go all the way back before the thoughts could even be here in a negative form so we, all we left is with positive energy, knowing that we are fine. And the inner child is being taken care of, feeling safe, feeling at peace. Very nice. I want to clear any creator programming around that. We all create her and anything that was created here. It no longer need it. We're going to release it. Send it back to spirit. Awesome. And then let's continue. When we're not done with this little inner child. We really want to take care of it. And so we're going to talk 27 to bring back the fun, right? Because being alive here in this world should be fun. So let's bring that fun again. And remember, all this is just an experience, a process. We're going to align to this. It's all good. We just, you know, need to rise above the problem, rise above the, the feeling that does not feel good. And then we all of a sudden, everything shifts. It's just vibration. It's just energy. Thank you. Oneness with good, oneness with God, right? When we feel we feel good, the good, we feel God, we feel protected, we feel taken care of, we have peace. So we want to feel that child of yours to feel taken care of. You're fine. You're going to be fine and you will be fine. Anything else? Let's continue. Okay, we want to go to chapter 12 to look at things that sometimes act like glitches. Okay, so we're going to call them dysfunction, pre-programming, anything that has blocked you from feeling good, from feeling peace, minds of the soul, energy, spirit here, anything that feels like it's not perfect. This is the pressure and the thinking we don't need, right? Perfection is created in the understanding that you're constantly improving yourself, right? So nothing is perfect or nothing is imperfect. It's just a vision. It's just a perception. So let's get out of that burden, that pressure. And let's get back into fun. Awesome. Anything else? Yes. We're going to go into all the universes, like I told you before. We are multidimensional being, and we're not only living here on Earth. We get to be almost everywhere, right? If we want it, because we energy, we don't have limits. So we're going to clear a thing here from a new one, universe 10 point, where we had past life energy there caught up. We want to bring back here present. We don't need to escape anything. We're here. We're happy. We're at peace. We're being taken care of. Earth download energy of this beautiful planet energy. So we can really anchor ourselves here in the beauty of Earth. Because sometimes we can be very easily get caught up into all the challenge that Earth has. And then we bring Godhead as all energy consciousness or elevation of the mind. Awesome. Anything else on chart 22? All right. Wonderful. And then I'm just going to double check on that inner child and see where we at. And the spirit saying, yeah, we're done. We, 
we, we're going to look back again at the full spectrum of your being, right? Because we can be like looking at a piece of pie, but also we are the whole pie. So I was going back to the whole pie, so to speak here, to continue to bring this energy healing and for you to shift your vision, your perception. And we're going to go into chart 28, right? It's all about forgiveness. We have to forgive, to let go, to release. So here we're going to clear memories, for all the memory that we were holding energetically from this lifetime or other lifetime. Know, all the dimension also, all universes, all layers, all bodies. Thank you. And we're going to clear the void. Very nice. Anything else? No. So let's continue to clear, to manifest, to bring in this inner peace. To really align to this. Please show me where do we go. We go back to chart 22 to continue with the awareness of our being, of who we are, this powerful being that we also bring all this awareness to remember that we are spiritual being into this physical energy and we have access to higher, to higher energy that we call source, higher power energy. And in that connection, it's an extension of us. So let's remind us of that power within you and that connection. Thank you. And then we're going to clear and free the I am level energy. So all your I am energy consciousness wants to be freed here. So you can feel powerful. I am powerful. I am strong. I am free. Those are great information I'm getting that would be beneficial for you to do if you wanted to. As day goes by, things to remind you who you are. Okay, and I'm going to go into final blessing, chart 29. We know how life is a blessing. Sometimes it probably doesn't feel like it. So we're going to bring that feeling again, right? And we're going to go all the way back to the embryo energy here to clear, to bring this beautiful energy of blessing, to download this feeling that you deserve to feel blessed, you deserve to feel at peace. I'm going to bring in the miracle, right? Because Sometimes just shifting and healing feels like a miracle. Sometimes we want to invite small things in our life that we didn't think it was possible. It's, that's a miracle, right? So let's invite all the miracles possible here. All the things we didn't know it was possible. Let's bring them in. So bring that joy. Thank you. And we're going to clear the living soul keys. Here, all the keys is in within you. Let's remind of that, right? We are the key. We are connection. We are connection to source. Very nice. All right. Anything else on chart 29? No. Anything else here to do any clear? Please show me. We're going to go to chart two. We want to clear control the power, the control, okay? Do we want it too much or too little? We feel like we're having too much control. We want to release that because sometimes when we're trying to control too much, maybe the day doesn't go as planned and then we get triggered, right? So that's just an example. We have control everywhere because that's also we were taught. So let's unlearn things here and rely all the way back to the source energy that you are, the soul energy that you are in connection to source, and for that, we're going to go to chart 8B to clear the archetype of forgiveness. Okay, what else? We have to do a research, and we're going to find that on chart 19 to really elevate and change your life. To bring in the energy of believing, yes, believing that everything is going to be fine. Even if the, the day does not go as planned or something happened, right? Go back into that inner peace and trust. And you're like, okay, spirit, I, I guess we must have a better plan for today. I'm going to surrender. I'm not going to try to control anything. I'm going to watch and observe and allow the day to unravel. And then it turns out the day was great because I surrendered to spirit, right? Let's try that more and more. Let's bring in this meditation energy. It's good to go into a meditative state. If you like to do meditation, it's a good way to practice and release all the energy accumulated throughout past lives, throughout the day, whichever it's coming from, we want to release it back to source. We no longer need it. Nice. We're going to clear everything that's others. Okay, so not everything can be on charts. So we're going to call also all the stacks to be cleared, everything that can be cleared 
without research here. Okay, and so, so far in the research, we're about 50% done. And so we're gonna go clear any illusion on sub 14 that's blocking us and don't get caught up into the illusion and reminding us who we are here. We're gonna clear any subtle heather energy, conscious program at the type one here, the mind level. And we're gonna clear and release all mind energy here that can be released to bring in the peace, to make room for peace and healing. The less control we have, the more peace we have. Wonderful. I even never thought about that that way, right? Okay, so what else spirit show me to continue this research? Blessing, we're going to continue to bring the blessing. We're gonna go all the way to the physical coding of your DNA, pretty cool, right? Everything is energy. Everything can be transmuted. So levels, going back to the embryo, anything else? I'm hearing we're rewiring something like really going back to who you are and letting go of the old. Almost like a generational energy living and bringing back this here now, this beautiful being that you came here to incarnate. And you did not come here to regurgitate the old and what people believe. Remember, you hear and you present and receiving, and you can witness new coming in, change coming in. Wonderful. How are we doing with the control spit? We're about 90%. Okay, so where do we go to completely release it? We're going to record a chart 6A. We have excesses on forgiveness. I'm going to release all that toxic shame, anything that's been in the body for all the time you've been reincarnated, not just earth, right? The abuse, the health abuse, feelings constricted, I'm hearing into this human body, feeling limited. And clear and get back to source energy because when we in that connection, there's no limits. And you feel amazing in that source. And sometimes all it takes is just a simple intention. Please, spirits, clear me, connect me. Thank you. Oh, it feels so much better. You can do that in your car. You can do that at the red light. You can do it at work when you're in a stressful meeting. Anywhere, spirit is everywhere. Thank you. We're going to clear any injustice, right? For all the time that we took spirit away from you. Imagine just human history. Research your clear. And we have to actually research this one. And we're going to apply healing colors and hearing to really sink and ground this beautiful energy. The base chakra, the red energy is coming in to sink into the grid here. All that you need. Very nice. We're gonna offer in a little brain tuner. That's perfect because we're talking about all this rewiring that's happening within ourselves. So brain tuner is perfect. We're gonna bring in the gold. Like have you ever heard of this liquid gold light energy coming and going down the spine, elevating your Kundalini energy. Thank you. We're gonna download the wheel of light here. There's so many different light I'm hearing and. For each soul, we're going to bring in the pure and perfect light needed here and now. Very nice. Okay, so anything else here? No, we're complete. Okay, so something else for the control. We're at 95%. Okay, so we have multiple sets of programs. So, you know, we've used to control, so we're going to clear here any photocopies, any multiple soul programming, anything repeated. Again, everything was created for a reason. And today the reason is no longer. So we can release it all in accordance to the free will of your soul. Very nice. Okay, where do we go next? Please show me. We're gonna go into rebirth of the conscious mind. That's perfect, isn't it? For all the vows and promises that we've made in ourselves, all the limitation that you could have you know, unconsciously make over time, right? And there was, and so here we're gonna clear the abdication of personal power. We really wanna stand into our power energy. Beautiful. Anything of surveillance, sorry. Okay, we're clear. Thank you, spirits. Minor vows, clear anything else on this chart that can benefit here. No, do we need to do some research so it's clear? Everything clear nicely. Anything else? And I'm getting a signal mop up. So we're now 
you know, showing that we are done clearing the control, we're releasing the control. So we're gonna find new ways to, to, to feel good. And it's not gonna be through con control, right? It's gonna be through different ways. Maybe we're gonna find our warm blanket in here, like when we don't feel good. Well, you know, I don't know if maybe make you a cup of coffee or a cup of tea make you feel good. Recenter, reset for a minute. Small little things sometimes really make a big deal and shift throughout the day and bring back that inner peace. And what I'm hearing also now, Spirit just said, call upon this energy. You can actually call upon and say, okay, please download, you know, that inner peace video that we did the other day, please download that onto me right now. I need that, feel that energy. I need to clear the layers, whatever's going on. I don't, uh, there's a trigger. Recognize the trigger, that's empowerment to recognize your trigger and then clear it. That's just information, right? Oh, that's wonderful. And then anything else you didn't clear. Okay, so from zero to a hundred spit. So everything and anything that can be clear here in this collective energy, obviously on the individual level, we'll be able to go a lot deeper. And you can always make an appointment with anybody on the SRA website to go deeper into whoever you feel matched to. In this instance, I'm gonna ask for all the souls here, giving permission to clear how much have we've done so far. And it's showing you right just underneath the, uh, right underneath 70, so we'll probably see, we're saying on 68 or 69, we are about there. And so I'm gonna ask, how do we get all of us, the whole collective energy here watching this video to get to 100? And we're getting 23. Now we're talking about all the realm. So we're not even in this realm, so to speak, in spiritual realm. So this is to show you again how multifaceted we are, okay? And we have here spiritual block one through six, clear. Thank you. Autonet into infinity, clear. Very nice. Program not on charts and clear everything and anything that's not on chart, all the stacks. Very nice. We're going to clear the emotional body. Anything that's being held there, we know there's a lot of emotional energy throughout everything we do. We are emotional beings. So we really want to help here. And I'm, I'm hearing there's actually a team of being that wants to come and support. And yes, the angel of light. So Angel of Light is gonna come and support with you here to really help this emotional um, energy transition, whatever you're going through in life here, we're calling upon this energy and with me here, you can call your angel to partake and really support you into whatever is going on. So you're calling upon this inner peace with grace and ease. You have a team of being, we're not supposed to be doing that alone anyways, right? So when as well to utilize all the beings out there for us. So angel of light are going to be a sign for you. Or is it going to be your angel of light? Awesome. Perfect. Anything else that can be done here? Okay, let's go back to chart one to continue. And we're going to go to chart six B. We're going to bring acceptance, right? That really brings peace. That makes sense. Like when we accept things that we cannot change. And then the energy of supportiveness, super important to feel supported that the universe has our back, that we're not alone in this, right? Because, right, if not, it's just worthiness. Does we need to feel the whole weight of the of the universe supporting you, us, right? Like this whole universe is there, like you know, like your flying backpack, like your wings, if you want to say, right? Is you've always been supported, you've always been loved, and we're going to clear any need to self-preserve know that you are being perfectly preserved here you're, you're safe okay so self-preservation it's a feeling that you're safe want to download that onto you now the joy because we can't really feel peace without a little joy right so let's bring some some joy here onto you and then i'm going to call your high self committee your team all the beings working for you and i'm going to ask them to apply this energy as many times as needed as long as needed if we could apply it again in two weeks from now then let's do it right and so and so it is very nice okay and anything else that needs to be researched yes there's something that needs to be researched the self-esteem anything else that needs to be clear and addressed no so self-esteem, 
the way we see ourselves, the way we handle things, gonna, gonna all go back into our self-esteem. So we wanna make sure that it's strong, right? We don't want any self-sabotage whatsoever. So we're gonna look at every angle that could be in the way of your inner peace, right? You see how spirit works? And I didn't do anything. I'm just following the pendulum, right? I have no clue what's gonna happen. And now we're going all the way to your soul fingerprint. That's mean, just like your identification as a human on your print, here we're going back. So it's gonna be very personal to each soul here that something here needs to be clear and removed to bring this beautiful light inside of you because you are light. It's just really you remembering who you are, really, right? Awesome. And I'm going to bring up the energy of completion, wrapping it all up. Nice. So if all everything feels good, I feel like it's complete, it's final, like that good feeling of light, supporting you, helping you. Okay, wonderful. Anything else you do around the self-esteem? Yes, it's actually on 6B. Caring, kindness, and search for clear. Clear is down, down to you. So you can see kindness within yourself and caring. And then I would uplift you in your self-esteem. Bring more sense of inner joy, inner peace. Everything works together, right? It's never just one tiny little thing. We are whole. We are full spectrum. Awesome. Anything else for the self-esteem? I'm getting a no from spirits. Okay. So where are we into this clearing? We about mm, it's showing me like right above 90%. So we'll say like 92, right? Like something there. And doesn't have to be precise. We just want to be to a hundred, right? That's the goal. And so when we're going back into RAM, things are just out of our control, things outside of ourselves. And we're going to clear this genetic DNA core belief that odd and in into infinity. Clear all that now, please, Spirit. Very nice. Program not on charts. The root causes. Anything else? Nope. All right. Go back. Anything else here? Chart 30. The finish my pop. Wonderful. Okay. Anything else that we need to bring in? No, myself, myself and those, all beings here in this connection, in this soul energy here, in this video, yes, as all being has agreed to be completed, yes, 100%, is it anything in a way, out of everything and anything that could be clear as of today, I would have done everything, no, okay, so some space is still a little something that we could do, it's on chart 12, a loss of hearing the good, the good, the God energy, all this needs to come into consciousness energy so we can really feel that energy, space says. Any pre-programming, anything in the way? Wonderful. Okay, anything else? No? All right, so out of everything and anything, and we've done everything, yes? Wonderful. This does every, um, I saw committee, everybody has been updated or the new, because we want to only promote the positive here, right? All the old, all the negative that we've cleared, it's gone, recycled, back to spirit, and now we're going to promote positive until we figure out, oh, well, now I want this to be cleared, right? For the next episode, so to speak, to the next layer. Wonderful. And then we're going to make sure that everybody is feeling free now. Like we cleared everything and we want to make sure everything feels free. It's a feeling of energy release. And I'm getting a no on that. So we're going to want to facilitate this release. And we're going to go to 29. And there's an infinite, um, infinite, infinite program, sorry, to clear the first draft, clear. Wonderful. Okay, now the, all the beings, all the souls here being taken care of, feeling free now. Yes, 100%. And everyone is feeling completed. Yes, 100%. Wonderful. So this is a wrap. We're going to make sure we have a beautiful mop up, wrap up to calibrate, to paste all the healing to the right and perfect pace that you needed and the right and perfect pace of, you know, where you are now. And this is all going to be overseen by your committee, your high self. Everything's going to be applied as many times as needed, as long as needed for your benefit. Wonderful. Awesome. All right. So how are you guys feeling? Anybody has questions? Well, please drink a lot of water. You probably feel thirsty. It's totally normal. 
wonderful. <laughs> Here my glass. We're flushing away the toxin. We're healing full spectrum when we're clearing, right? We're clearing the spiritual energy, the emotional energy, the mental energy, and the physical. So your physical goes through as well, some shifting and purging for the next two or three days, depending on the sensitivity, depending on what you need to experience. So drink water and allow yourself to facilitate the healing as much as you can. Great. Thank you very much. Nice. Any question or any concern? Anyone that wants to bring anything up? Please feel free to ask. To... <laughs> no? Anyone wants an additional a clearing, concern, question um, around anything that's going on right now with their lives? Hi, thank you so much. I'm Najla. Hi, how are you? I feel great. That was beautiful. Thank you. Nice. So I do have a question. I noticed that um, when I'm doing a lot of clearing, I'm always brought to chart two, to love and understanding and then to 6B. And so my question is, when we're brought back to um, a certain chart or whatever repeatedly, Am I stuck or am I being blocked, you know, or is it I'm taken to another level? Are right. you, can you, can you assist me with understanding that? Yes, for sure. So I have three rules, right? Who am I speaking with? Always, we want to always speak to spirit, right? That's the only one person we want to deal with right now. Source energy, right? And then where's my ego, right? Because if I'm running ego, then I can make myself work harder than it needs to, right? And then my consciousness, I want to be at the highest level of consciousness. So every time you're in your clearing and you have a small doubt or a question or like, why are we doing this again? Because the rule said, well, you know, spirit does not obey and bound by rules per se of our limited mind, right? So sometimes we go back to the same chart. We don't know why, but there's another layer. There's another little something on that chart that's very relevant for your client. So you're not blocked, or maybe you are. And how would you know that? Simply by going back to your chart one and say, okay, who's just giving me this information? Who am I speaking with? Or who am I connected with? Whatever intention you have, you just want to see that you're talking to spirit. And you're like, huh, spirit, you're telling me to go back to chart 6B. Interesting. Uh, where's my ego, spirit? Oh, I'm not having ego. Where am I consciousness at the highest level? Okay, so you're saying there's another layer of spirit? And spirit be like, yes. Oh, interesting. And right there, you just learned something new because you were knowing in connection of spirit that you didn't have ego and you were at the highest consciousness. And then you were able to find something in the charts that's not necessarily something we can teach, but spirit will teach you constantly all kind of different combo of combination and rewiring and and clearing things for your client and does not necessarily have a certain order or a certain logic and for you to stay on track is to simply make sure you're talking to spirit you're not running ego or your client and you're always coming at your highest consciousness and you'll notice that you get amazing result and and that you going into deeper pocket of yourself maybe you're finding new levels of yourself and then also sometimes it's messages maybe you know you're doing a good job and you finish your clearing and that's what happened to me and I had to call it consultant and we had to brainstorm and because I was doing a clearing and every time it would go into master and I'm like what do you mean master and you know like we were done right and the spirit was telling me Alex you mastering good job you're mastering so ask yourself right so Robert always wanted us to use this as creatively as possible Okay, he said, I use, I, I made those charts so you guys can take this as a tool and use it as creatively as possible. If you were an artist, that would be a paintbrush. So everybody's gonna have their own style of that paintbrush. And maybe Spirit is saying, you're a love, you're doing a great job mm. using chart two at the end of the clearing. I don't know. All those questions are gonna be answered by you saying, what do you mean, spirit? <laughs> right? What does that mean? Like, what is this? Are you saying this? Who's telling me this? Myself? Okay. 
All right, I just learned something new. Yeah, that that does resonate with me totally. Even on chart four, I've been brought to when I'm doing research. Um, it will, I will get when I ask, you know, where, say for instance, inheritance, where did it start? You know, I had mother's side, father's side, and then I got told generic belief. And then, then it kind of took me and I'm hearing spiritual realm. I'm like, wait, I, I don't think it in our notes that exist. So sometimes I was questioning, like, wait a minute, where is that coming from? Is that, you know, so when I do what you said, so Thank you for confirming that. I no, was that's great. Yeah, because we all could have our own little sauce of how to clear. At the end, we have the same foundation, right? We all teach the same umbrella of that foundation of understanding the work of spirit. And then once you're in spirit work, have fun, flow, and you'll see you learn so much. And as long as you're not in ego and in consciousness and that you're talking to spirits, you know you're safe and you're doing the work of light, you're doing the work of spirit. And then once you get a complete, you'll get the result. You'll see the shift within inside, right? And that there's no lie there, right? Yeah. yeah. So you when your question is 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 this the type of questions you're asking or if we have individual research that we would like you to do for us? Is that, is that something you're asking when we say, do we have any questions? Yeah, because some, maybe a question can apply to everybody and we can ask you if they can benefit the group to clear around that subject. Oh, okay. Yeah. So do you have any concern or anything that you wanted to bring forward? Um, I think I, I have one in terms of, how to be in so so i question like service so how how is it the intention for me to serve use this tool in love and service with 101 or just overall does that make okay. sense you know like yeah. do I need to be with a person 101 and have direct clients or can my is my soul wanting to just do clearings i don't know the word like energetically like as the soul yeah. comes forward yeah that's great so what i'm hearing is that what we're gonna do is that we're gonna clear around understanding more within your purpose because purpose always evolve right like when i first started if you had told me i would have make video on youtube i would have laughed at you so hard little you know in 2000 in 2016 spirit says yeah we're gonna make video alex so you see, there's an evolution to your purpose. I'm hearing, we want to help you align in this evolution of your purpose so you can feel in a peace, right? It's completely still in the subject that we are here because if you don't find that peace, that purpose, it's hard to find the peace, right? It works together. And so that will benefit every soul watching this video because everybody could tweak and get a little more assertive, a little more understanding of what they're serving and what they're coming here to experience as a soul, as a purpose, because living on earth has to be with a drive, right? And so we need to figure out that drive. We need to figure out that purpose. So that, that's gonna help us with the inner peace. So Spirit says we're gonna do a little clearing here to bring some clarity because the answer is not somewhere else other than within yourself. Let's go sleep on it, I'm hearing. And then, you know, you know, slowly seeing that maybe your purpose is not shaped one way or the other. Maybe it's just a multiple different things. Maybe it is working one-on-one -on -one and doing uh, energy work. Maybe it's a little bit of both. Then maybe it's something you didn't think about. So let's clear to get that, shall we? Sounds good? Yes. Awesome. So let's call upon energy here to make sure we have all this information to continue to bring the inner peace from a different level. You see here we are entering into a different clearing. We're going another layer, another level in the clearing, still bringing more inner peace, but working on inner identification, purpose, tweaking who we are in the sense of progress going forward. So we really feel inner peace as well. So we have 10 D energy coming in.
and infinite love will be for thought. So obviously we remember that we are beings of infinite level. And before even the thought, there was so many um, be, you know, levels of being. So we want to clear all the levels possibly, right? Even the levels that we don't know about. Thank you. And I want to clear replication mirror images, anything that it feels like a photocopy, been there, done that, how many times, how many lives, how many existence, here I am again, right? So we really want to bring that, that peace again, that where the motivation is peaceful, fun, joyful to come into that place, dysfunction of the mind, rebuilding mirror images, clear all replication, photocopies. Thank you. Anything else? Chart 13. With an imprint, okay, so the imprint can make us feel like as there's something wrong with us. When we eliminate this thought, there's nothing wrong with us. We're perfectly, perfectly fine. We're in the discovery of that. It's like a quest, right? Every day you're getting more information of what's next. You didn't know what to do when you were 16 or what you was going to do when you was 26. You see what I'm saying? It all came like a quest, like a game, right? So let's have fun. Let's go back into the idea of who you are. It's all going to come in as, as we as we allow it. So I'm hearing. So, you know, allowing it means, you know, like I live my life and I trust that it's coming to me because it's not in the control. Like I said so and I said so and I control spirit and I said the universe right now I want it nothing comes into that energy, right? But when we're like, you know what? It's all good. I know space gonna talk to me and probably when you do your dishes and you're vacuuming, all of a sudden you get this insight, right? So we really wanna invite and allow it because it's not gonna show up when we said so because it's like the water boiling, right? You're looking at it, well, walk away. It's gonna boil, come back. Oh, it's boiling. We wanna bring that feeling of ease inside of you. So 23, go back there. The genetics, DNA, and core beliefs, personal soul package, clear. The odd and end to infinity, clear. Thank you. Program that on charts, clear. Very nice. Anything else that we can do to bring energy clearing here? Please show me. 22, we're going to all the universe here. And reservation expansion consciousness, past life I am level. Very nice. God in his own. And I'm hearing this is kind of have been a very major trigger to get you out of your peace. Oh my God, what am I going to do with myself? What am I, right? Like we can easily all go there, especially with the new year coming. We could all be thinking, oh my God, like and have this pressure of the self. So we're going to release that pressure of the self very nice to really continue to facilitate this inner peace no matter what i'm fine no matter what i have this inner peace i have this connection to spirit and then i can always call the energy from this video right we have access power in in time space does not exist so to speak so we can call upon this energy and say all right download this video energy onto me this healing shift i really need it right now and help you Feel again, a sense of direction, a sense of inner peace, okay? So not everything has to be figured out all at once, Spirit said. It's part of the process. Past life is a new one universe, past life is a new one. And the I am level, okay? Anything else to clear here, please show me. 6A. All right, it's skepticism. The hate of self, clear. The hate, clear. Anything else? Forsaken, clear. Anything else? No. Let's continue. Anything else? Chart 29. Idea, king of king, clear. This is perfect, right? If you remember our um, understanding of chart three, right? Idea, king of king is also our creator ruling consciousness energy right we talk facilitating like governing energy like so it's here we're bringing back this understanding here to facilitate again the leadership within you mm. so then you figuring out projects and and things that you want to partake in in this lifetime and i'm hearing again and have fun with it right because you came here to experience and to make this a playground and every time we're in resistance, it does not feel like a playground. So we know, oh, that's clear. And then it feels fun again. 
wonderful. Anything else to clear your spirit? All right, so from zero to 100, is it, um, please show me how much of this has been done so far. Let me show you this is all I get to you at this point. Yes. Okay. Right. Is anything else to be unclear? Myself, 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 and you, myself, that we're coming into the question. I just want to make sure everybody's being served here and there's nothing else to clear. I'm getting a mop up signal at this point, right? So obviously, there's always way more layers to us than just this. But this is at this point where everything we're facilitating, the soul energy collective is saying, all right, that's enough. I'm mopping up. Thank you. No problem. All right. So um, anyone else wants to speak up or we would Alexandra? Like Alexandra, uh, we have a question here. Awesome. Just give me, give me. Um, a second <laughs> to go back to the chat. There okay. So um, the question is, how do I find the root cause of the gang stalking by people who are total strangers? I don't know if the concept is clear of gang stalker, of gang stalking. Okay. Uh, I'm hearing this is a particular case. Yes. Uh, it does not have a collective energy at this point that would be benefit here. And there's a lot of terrors in, that I'm picking up that you're experiencing. And uh, I would definitely want for you to address this energy on a very deep personal level. You can call the SRL hotline. Uh, but um, do you have blood going to the root? No, but there's something that's not being facilitating uh, you know, it's um, if you're trying to do clearing on yourself, at some point it becomes like this. Well, I'm going to give myself a deep tissue massage. Do you believe it? No. You're going to need someone to release that knotted muscle right here. Like there's only so much we can do ourselves, like the neck, the lower back. And here I'm saying that I'm hearing that it's something for you to to expand uh, your horizon and maybe not be the only one having to hold that space energy and and and, and see if you could get maybe a, a healer to work with you with that to facilitate the support and then i'm feeling like once you get that transmuted there is a click there is something going on that's going to change the, the the way you see things and there's not going to be any more uh energy to attach to it so eventually uh, the solution would be revealed to you and it's not showing up as like a root per se but more like a process of evolving and shifting and transmuting if that makes sense the person feels that calling in has not worked in the past okay um uh, it could have been a momentum energy because right we're all about timing right so we're not going to clear me about making videos in 2012 if i'm not making the videos until 2016 does that make sense so there's a timing involved as well and when you're ready and motivated to step in your power more and more. So all that is being used as like fuel to continue to show you. And I'm sure if you call back, there's still some result that's been experienced from the clearing. All right, so don't give up. Continue finding protection, pr practitioner that are also a match to you because sometimes this practitioner does a wonderful clearing, clearing all this. And then I have to go to this practitioner to go and clear all that stuff because this practitioner has only this contract with me. And this practitioner has this contract with me. Some people are very good about this and they will have that contract with me. And some people aren't very good about this. So they have that contract with me. Also there to explore other healing technique because all this is happening is for you to be pushed into the next level. So you never have to feel like a victim again, but more like, look, I have probably the worst situation you could ever be caught up in and I've made it. So if I make it, anybody can. And now you're, you're kick-ass power. You see what I'm saying? So this is where you're heading, yeah? It's not a root. 
it's not a finite situation where we're looking for an escapism where we're gonna you know find the, the garbage and remove it even the garbage on earth is not being taken care of okay so it's a process trust yourself that this is an empowerment there may be moving involved there may be something going on that will change all that and also like um look at it like a fuel where they're pushing you to be so awesome so untouchable so connected that you're going to turn around and thank them later you know what i'm saying your Maybe explanation is very good and clear huh? saying the, the person is saying your explanation is very good and clear thank you <laughs> thank you i'm glad that resonates thanks spirit if i didn't have that you'd be like alex uh-uh stop talking <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's different. Spirit is all power. And so every time, remember that, right? We can all help each other because it's so much easier to tune in for one another. I can't do that for myself. I need to go see someone else to help me facilitate that so I never go to ego, right? Because if I did it all by myself and I clear myself and I all oh, me, 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 then you imagine eventually then why am I seven, eight billion years, uh, seven billion people on earth if it's just me, 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 right? No, it's all of us, right? Mm -hmm. So each other, we can scratch each other's back. We can help each other. Not one person has the solution. So let's figure out all together. Sometimes, you know, it's just a, a discovering or researching moment too, you know, and that's what's pendulum is good. Any questions? Wow. I think everybody agrees with me that it's been a very profound session. Thank you very much for your time so much. and your guidance. Awesome. I have no idea what time it is, how we're doing in time. Because no, we are here. on time, you know, we, we are really on time. I'm like, it's been two hours, it's been 20 minutes. I have no idea. I don't have time. <laughs> Oh, just a quick reminder for the people, uh, if you need any clearing with a consultant or a certified consultant, don't forget that we have a phone line, so you need no appointment, and you go to spiritualresponse.com, and you can reach a certified consultant right away. Uh, please call during business hours. That's it. That was the, the quick reminder. <laughs> yeah exactly and uh remember that you know everything is energy right yes. and everything is an address to shift and an empowerment moment so you see something hey i'm just gonna clear it no big deal awesome right. all right well as you guys feel all good um go drink some water rest and you know continue connecting with spirit and continue being awesome and um i hope you guys have a wonderful day evening and i don't know where you're at in the world but it was lovely to connect with you thank you thank you very much alexandra thank you so much bye you guys bye 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 bye